This is the HTC One M9 dot view case. What's up, YouTube? Jeff here again from HighOnAndroid.com, and today I'm here. Just got my HTC One M9 dot view case in the mail from HTC, and we're going to get into this case today, and also going to compare it to my HTC One M8 dot view case. So you can see right there using dot message on my HTC One M8 case. We're going to get into this case and see what kind of new features we have on the M9 dot view case. See how similar it is to the M8. So I got my M9, got my M8, we got the dot view case. Let's get into this. Let's do it. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the HTC One M9 dot view case. And I have the M9 dot view case here. I also have the M8. In its dot view case, as you can see there, just so we can compare, get some physical differences possibly between the two cases. The feature set is pretty similar. In fact, a lot of the features that are coming to the M9 dot view case, you can also get in the M8 case. Uh, I've been using the Spigen uh, Slim Armor with a kickstand on my M9. So I showed you guys this case in one of my earlier videos on the M9. This case is actually really good. I enjoy using it. One thing I will say is that my comments about the kickstand still hold true. This kickstand is a little flimsy, so if you're using this kickstand to watch media, make sure that you're not also trying to use the touchscreen. It will knock your device over, so you want to be careful if you want to make sure your device is protected while you're watching media. So let's go ahead and unbox the HTC One M9 dot view case and see what it looks like and compare it to the M8. So, if we get into the packaging here, just opening the top of the box and slide out the HTC One M9 dot view case, we see the case here. It looks very similar around front to the case that is on the M8. So if you look at my M8 dot view case, you can see there's numerous similarities between the two cases. Both of them are gray. You can, if you can see a little bit, the gray on the M8 dot view case is actually a little lighter than the gray that is on this case for the M9. So the M9's gray is a little bit lighter. If you look around back, you'll notice the largest difference on my HTC One M8 case here. You've got the HTC logo. So you can see if you look there's the HTC logo. And then on the back here for the M9, we don't have anything at all. So if I zoom in, right there. You can see on the M9 case, we actually have a clear back. So this is the HTC One M9 ICE version. It allows you to see through and see your M9's actual color. So you'll actually be able to see the color of your M9, which a lot of people like that feature. Why cover up the color of the phone that you chose? If you like that color, get the clear back on the M9 ICE uh, cover. And these are a little more expensive than the regular dot view for the M9. I believe the ICE version is $49.99, whereas the regular version is $39.99. So you do play a $10 premium for essentially a clear back, but if you want to show off the back of your phone, it's definitely worth the money. So let me go ahead and take the case off of my M9, the Slim Armor case. So pop off the Slim Armor and throw on the HTC One M9 dot view case. So the Slim Armor pops off and let's put the Slim Armor to the side. So now if we drop the dot view case on the M9 here, we've got pretty nice fit. The fit's actually a little bit tighter than it was on my M8 dot view case. And so if we close it up, let's see if I press the power button there, you can see on the home screen already it's giving me my missed calls there. So you can already see that I'm seeing my missed calls on the home screen. And you can see there the pattern. So you get to choose your theme. So it's very similar to the M8. As you can see, I have a different pattern shows on the M8 than the default on the M9. So you can see they're very similar though. They both give you your missed calls, your missed messages on the home screen. You can also interact. So if you want to call them back, you can do that and then you can hang up as well from the actual case. All right, so if we continue looking at the M9 dot view case, 
Again, you can see the back of your phone through the ICE version. So here we can see the silver on my silver on gold model of the M9. It's very nice. It's definitely better in my opinion than the gray back that's on my M8 case. You can see on the M8 case, all we have here is the HTC logo. So let me zoom in really quick so you guys can see the, the differences between the two. You can see we've got just the gray HTC logo versus the clear back on the M9. The rest of the body of the M9 dot view case is actually very similar. Around front we've got cut out for the camera sensor which has a little bit different shape on the M9 obviously. You've still got an HTC branding here. I already mentioned that you've got your darker gray color on the outside of this M9 dot view ice case. And you can still use your double tap to wake feature. So if you want to check your time, your weather, your missed calls, your messages, you can double tap on the dot view case and wake it up right away. So now if we open the screen and take a look at some of the features of the dot view case, you scroll down to personalize in your settings. And if you scroll down to HTC dot view, that'll open up the dot view app. So right here in the dot view app, you can actually change your theme. So if you take a look here, you can choose your theme. So if we apply one of the themes, for instance, this theme here, which is uh, one that shows your, your music bars. So if you're listening to some music, those bars will go up and down. You can change your theme in various ways. So if we go in here to the app screen, we have three choices in the HTC dot view app of apps that we can use. So one of those is dot message which I actually showed you here in the introduction. So if you take a look here, you can see I can type a message in. So for instance, hi on Android. So if I type in hi on Android and then hit play, it tells me to close the dot view cover and I can take a look at my message. And so if you see there, you can see hi on Android on your screen and you can also change the color and change the scrolling speed. So if I change the color to green, then I change the scrolling speed to fast, and I close the cover, you can see here that now we have, oh, I forgot to press play. If you close the cover and change the scrolling speed, it scrolls a little faster and now you have green text in your high on Android panel. So that's one of the apps. It's kind of fun. You can put a message on there to personalize your device, change the text color, change the scrolling. You can also change the blinking. So if you want a blinking high on Android, you can change that to high on Android. Just make sure that you don't use this around anyone who might be medically affected with epilepsy with the flashing. But um, otherwise, you can personalize the screen message. It looks really nice. Also, you have another fun game on here called Dot Breaker. You can actually play Dot Breaker. It's the old school Dot Breaker version that you probably remember playing on a PC at some point in your childhood. So if you take a look at the Dot Breaker game, basically you can replay the level. It tells you to rotate to control direction, swipe up to start, and swipe down to pause. So now if I close my screen here, it says level one for Dot Breaker, and now I can control it by tapping it, goes up and you start playing the game. So it keeps track of your score up here and you also keep track of your lives up there in the top corner. So we're blocking all the, the bricks there and of course I can move and use the value to, to tap so you can move over and basically when you want to pause you just swipe down. You can see here that I just got an email and we've got these notifications on the lock screen so you can play your dot breaker game, still get your notifications then it will open the email and you can actually open your email. Uh, you can see there actually I just got my OnePlus One drone shipments. I ordered the mini drone that they had available on April Fool's Day. So that will be coming. I'll have a review of that as well. So now if we go back, take a look at the last app here that we have in our HTC dot view app. If you look at the, um, go back to HTC dot view inside personalize here. If you take a look the final app that's inside there is actually the dot design app. So this allows you to draw a design. You can even draw a free sketch on the front of your device and then have that display on the screen. So for instance, if you want to draw, for instance, you could draw a message even. 
I draw high on Android. Kind of tough to draw words, but you can. And then you can actually see how that's going to look on the dot version. And then you can go over and you can set as your HTC dot view. So now when I close it, you can see at the bottom, below my time and everything, it's going to show me high on Android. So those are the three apps that you get inside the HTC dot view. They're pretty nice apps. They're something to allow you to personalize your device, have a little fun with it. And then you can also change various settings inside the dot view app pertaining to the notifications that you want to receive, etc. So you can change the amount of time before your HTC screen times out in the dot view. You can turn off or turn on the dot view, so if you want to use the case without the dot view features enabled, you can do that. You can get your notifications. All of the stock notifications, except for the HTC Mail app, come uh, enabled by default. Facebook and Gmail enabled by default. Google Plus, Hangouts, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, Sense, which is the HTC launcher, Skype, Twitter, and Zoe, which is also the HTC built-in camera social app. So all of those are enabled by default. You can also go to more and you can even choose all of your third-party apps. So you can see I got lots of third-party apps, Aftership, Android Auto, Amazon, lots of things you might want notifications for. You can get all of those enabled with your HTC dot view. So a lot of flexibility. They've added a lot of um, customization options to the dot view case. You also can choose to bypass the security screen. So right now I don't have a security screen on my M9. I'm just using the swipe to open. But if you have a pen or you have a security pattern, you can bypass that screen when you have the uh, dot view on. So you have the HTC dot view. Um, you can also choose to have the use of holiday themes on or off. So HTC has some preloaded holiday themes, which I showed you earlier. So if you go to holiday themes, if you have these pre-installed, then HTC will enable these by default. So when it's April Fool's Day, Valentine's Day, New Year's, Christmas and Halloween, you'll automatically see these five themes showing on your dot view case if you're using that on your phone. So overall, it seems that HTC has made uh, some great improvements with the features. You've got this game to entertain you on the lock screen. You still get all of your notifications. You can personalize the dot view case even more than you could before. The one thing I will say is that it does appear to be a tighter fit inside. I mentioned that at the beginning. The HTC One M8 is a little loose. It pops out really easily. So that's one thing I would say they did improve in terms of the build. I also like the fact that I can see my phone here on the back cover. That's definitely a really nice feature to have. And as far as the other features of the case go, the build is pretty much the same. You can still access all of your touch features from the actual dot view case. You can still utilize the case for all the same notification features you could on the M8. They just improved the overall build and look of the case since the back is now open. And then of course accommodated the camera sensors for the M9. The only other thing to really look at is the pamphlet that comes with it. You'll look inside here and you'll see pretty much all the features that I just went over. How you can use the dot view to handle notifications. You can handle your phone calls. You can make a quick call by taking the phone, lifting it in portrait orientation and swiping down from the upper half corner. So if you want to make a quick call, you can use the dot view for that as well. And so overall, these are all the features that we mentioned, personalizing your dot view case. And then you have the instructions in various languages. So overall, that concludes my unboxing and initial impressions of the HTC M9 dot view case. A pretty cool case that if you have the M9, you probably want to grab it to impress your friends, show off some of the features of your phone in particular. And I will use this case and give you guys some of my feedback once I've used it for a while, let you know if it has any uh, major differences from the M8 that I've noticed, and give you a little bit of a comparison once I've had more time with it. So I appreciate you guys checking out my video. Please subscribe if you like the content. I've got a lot of great other videos coming up this week. My review of the M9, my review of the S6, also have the S6, S6 Edge unboxing coming on Friday. And I also have, again, a review of the HTC, the OnePlus One drone. That's going to be shipping out to me, as you just saw now. So when that comes in, I'll have an unboxing and a quick little overview of that. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.